For years, a strange claim echoed through classrooms and textbooks. According to early physics, the bee should not be able to fly. Its wings appear too small. Its body seems too heavy. By the math of the time, flight was impossible. And yet, the bee flies. But here's the twist. Bees never learned those equations. They never read those books. They never waited for permission. Bees fly for one simple reason, to collect honey for their hive, to care for their own, and unknowingly, to carry out one of nature's greatest assignments, pollinating nearly every flowering plant on earth. Through pollination, bees support fruits, vegetables, seeds, and forests. Nearly one-third of the food humans eat exists because of them. Every meal you enjoy carries an invisible signature, the quiet work of a bee. And now, let's talk about us, humans, the self-proclaimed masters of this planet. We invent miracles, split atoms, build machines that think, and dream of building homes on Mars. But here's the uncomfortable question. Without bees, how long would we last? Some scientists warn, only a few years after bees vanish, human survival begins to unravel. If bees disappear, plants fail. When plants fail, animals starve. When animals fall, humans follow. Not from war, not from fire, but from hunger. You may have heard the warning that humanity could survive only four years without bees, not as a countdown, not a prophecy, but a symbol of how fragile our food systems truly are. The end wouldn't arrive in one dramatic moment, no explosions, no headlines, just silence, crop by crop, species by species, a slow collapse of balance. How extraordinary! that a creature so small, so easily ignored, can carry the weight of civilizations. Humans build cities that scrape the sky, yet poison the pollinators that feed us. Progress without wisdom forgets who keeps us alive. This is not a story about bees. It's a story about us, about how one small thought, one small life, can hold the fate of everything.